Mama, guess what? Someone new's home. What do you think? We'll show you in a little bit. Hey, buddy. You ready to be confused again? Like you were as a dad? Oh my god, did you see her toenails? <laughs> her big toenail is a triangle. I mean, obviously they still have to go there. Oh. Welcome home, sweet pea. Yeah. Neither of us have showered. I cannot wait to do what I actually used in my hospital bag because, spoiler alert, nothing. Aside from face wash. Maybe that's, I feel like it just depends on like what time you go in, how long you're going to be staying, and what your delivery looks like. There was no way I was showering yesterday. They said I could have showered last night, but I was just still in a lot of pain. And this girl requires quite a bit of attention. Yeah. So we figured, I think, at least I figured, spending the time with her yeah. over showering, at least while we're in the hospital, and is probably a good idea. I mean, we're like, what, a day and a half. So not too bad, Yeah. but I'm definitely gonna shower. I'm gonna see if I can put her in the bassinet or hand off to bed and shower. You can get some skin-to-skin -skin time if you mm -hmm. want. Are we done with this? Okay. <laughs> Say bye, Emerson. First vlog. Bye. I see so tired. All right. This probably isn't the right time, but we just came home with a girl. Both girls over there. And I need to do a quick fit check. Okay. We got the Lululemon f Fundamental Pocket Tee. We got Lululemon Addies. We got a Culture Kings hat, but... New Balance 550s, baby. Hashtag dad shoe. I think these are pretty popular right now, so they're not like a dad shoe, but I think they're a dad shoe. So thanks. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, by the way, she made that. <laughs> pretty cool. Update? How was night one? I mean, pretty good. <laughs> If we're going like off of how we how thought it went versus <laughs> expectations, yeah, really good. Yeah, uh, my uh, Kelly can tell you her story, but I slept from like ten thirty to one thirty ish, mm -hmm. and then I took her and we hung out until about four mm -hmm. four ish. I think, and then mom took over, fed, and then I slept from like four to seven thirty to seven. She slept really four good. Four to seven thirty almost. I even pushed so. her feeding a little bit. Chris and I also decided I need like literally this tank top in every color. <laughs> I said that this morning and he was like, oh, I almost did that last night while you were sleeping. Got you more. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, she, I even pushed her feeding a little bit because she was sleeping so well. I mean, I pushed it a little bit. I mean, like literally like 30 minutes. And she started on the one side and then <sighs> fell back asleep. Tried to get her up, didn't want to. She finally got up like an hour later. We nursed on the other side. She's just been sleepy. This girl's catching up. Gosh, do, do you see that little face? She's precious. There she goes, there. She likes to spit up intermittently, so I just put this in here. Her little facial expressions while she's sleeping, she goes from oh. like a little smirk to looking like she's for sure pooping and then to just like pure bliss. Okay. There's so much pressure to write this. <laughs> First of all, totally forgot they were sitting on our dining room table. Um, so I'm gonna take three now and three later. I might end up just starting to take all six of them at a time. We'll see how they work.
for sure. I'm about to have to feed her, but my Pottery Barn dresser is finally getting delivered or her Pottery Barn dresser is finally getting delivered. I just checked because it said your appointment scheduled for today and they're supposed to give you like a window. I just got the email and last time when it said it was on its way, it was actually arriving um, and it says it's, it says it's on its way. So I have a feeling it's going to be here within the next like 10 minutes at 8 a.m. have not have not changed. She's gonna need to feed, but I don't even care. I'm so excited. Finally gonna get to organize all your stuff. You're so sleepy. I'm gonna knock on wood because I don't want to jinx it. This girl. <laughs> don't get me wrong. We're still very tired, but for an infant, I feel like she's been a phenomenal sleeper. Yeah and a good eater. The nurses were saying that she latched like the best that they, that you could really ask for, I guess. There she is. Good morning. Um, yeah, and she's been sleeping really well, so can't complain. You're perfect. We already knew that though. Yeah, we already knew that. You're gonna have to feed right when they get here, huh? And this means that the nursery tour is coming soon, but today we're definitely gonna get that a little organized. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so we can scooch it down a little bit more and put the diaper pail here. Her changing pad goes here. And then this will be like the little organizing. Oh my God, she just. <laughs> Are you pooping? Looks great. Look at these. This was the main mm. reason I wanted this. The little leather detail. Tummy time, and I have the little thing that she can use. I was gonna do a video over like everything that was on our registry. People wanted to see that I didn't have time to record it. Anyway, I had the Love Every play mat and um, like first play kit, the little lookbook thing on there because it was one of the top suggested items for registry, like or for your baby registry on baby list and they reached out to me and actually sent me the two things that I was gonna get and gave me a code. So I will have that listed down below, but the black and white cards are one thing that's like great for their vision in the beginning. So we've been doing these, but I'll show you everything else that came in the little lookbook once, uh, once I get done eating my Ooh, breakfast. But when she's alert and focused, um, we try to do this with her. Bless you. Oh yeah. So yeah, that was super cool because everyone was recommending this. It sends you um, what you need for the proper age. So this is weeks zero to 12 and comes with all of these different things. And it says um, more activities, the play things, baby and you, what and when. Like it's just so helpful because it's so overwhelming so these are more of the little black and white things. Um, I find it very overwhelming, all of the different developmental things, because it's like you want to be doing everything right, but at the same time, it's ju it is just overwhelming. So it shows you like what to start with. And then uh, we I did that with her earlier. The other side of that is black and white. So I was doing that like as she would be laying down in like her infant um, infant lounger, but. 
these little things to hang and she can look at. So it's a lot of the black and white stuff for the high contrast. And yeah, so I was already gonna get all of this stuff. I think it is so helpful just having it all sent and planned out like this. Makes it very easy on mom and dad. <laughs> Good job. Oh yeah, look at all that effort. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Still have not showered, but the thing that was causing me so much stress, the challenge is lie. What, what? I said the thing that was causing me so much stress Oh, yeah. is live and she's here. The two things that were causing me stress, <laughs> labor and the challenge. It's nap time and I'm so excited. Just got done feeding her and it's 423. Wow. I know. Are you excited to take a nap? That's all you do. My mom came over <laughs> and held her for like an hour and a half and she was just snoozing the whole time. So I just fed her. I'm gonna take a nap. And then Chris and I's date night is gonna be getting Jersey Mike's because I can have lunch meat again and it's so good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, yes. Go Callie, go Callie, go Callie, go Callie. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, go Callie. <laughs> uh, date night tonight. Date night! Date night! Jersey Mike's. I had the same sub four days in a row because I think I may have already said this. Um, obviously, I couldn't have it when I was. What do you? Do? She did not do that. You did that. So we're making up for lost time, and it's delicious. Which one is this? Club sub. Club sub. The big boy. I don't need all of this in the same sitting. Because it's huge. There's four. There's four pieces. But it's so good and so, so good. People sent us lots of DoorDash gift cards and um, just gift cards in general. And yeah, Uber Eats and stuff. Honestly, I feel like that's better for us. That's better than like a food train or meal train, whatever, because then we have flexibility to get what we're actually in the mood for rather than feeling like we have to eat what we're given, even if we're not in the mood. But anyway, I'm gonna eat this. Okay. Quick uh, FYI, this is the third shirt I've worn in the past <laughs> hour. One of them, we were gonna bathe her, and you like we were literally me? bathing her in like two minutes, and I just yeah. had changed her diaper. And so I'm like, ah, I don't wanna put another one on, we're about to bathe her. <laughs> bathe her as in just wipe her down. And so I just, I just, I yeah. I just zipped up her onesie, and I just carried her a little bit, and ten, maybe 10 seconds of carrying her, and she peed, and it got all, all down. Which is what it is. And then she spit up. And then she spit up on me 10 minutes later. So, my other shirt. Just fun uh, facts about so being a parent. So those are his fun facts. You can tell. I've been crying. She's been crying. I'm not gonna say why. Tell him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So we're gonna eat some cookies. <laughs> that one's like wet looking. Sure is. It's weird. Which one do you want to try first, babe? Just go in order. I think that that's definitely the one we've already had. Look at how tiny. I didn't order them, so. This is confetti. We had that one. This one, I think it's like the, uh, the vanilla wafer cookie or no. The cinnamon roll. Super excited. C cucumber, co coconut cucumber? Cucumber? Or, sorry. No. <laughs> coconut lime. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate chip. I don't buckeye. know. Buckeye. Buckeye. Ooh, buckeye. buckeye we are buckeyes. Fun. I think this is a fun Friday night. Oh, You're saying it ironically. No, it's not ironic. This right. is a fun Friday night. Let me, I'll just pull it up. Confetti? This is definitely mm -hmm. the confetti. Yeah. This is one that we liked this a lot last time. Yeah. It's good. It's a classic sugar cookie. Here we go. With little confetti. Coconut tonight. lime, maple cinnamon roll, buckeye brownie, confetti, vanilla crumble cake featuring golden Oreo. Good. Classic. I need some milk. I need some milk. Fashion creamer? <laughs> just drink creamer. There, see, there's just, I don't like when there's that much frosting. It smells azumi sweet. Oh, the cookie's good. I think the base is really good. Mm 
I like it a lot. Frosting is too sweet for me. Way too sweet for me. However, the cookie base. There are ch white chocolate chips in it. Yeah, that was good. I like that one. Maple cinnamon roll. I love cinnamon rolls. I like that one a lot. I don't think it was that much. Oh, really? I thought the topping was too much. Wow. Very mapley. Smell like, smell that. <laughs> that is wild. Oh yeah. Mm. That one's really sweet, but that one I expected. Very sweet. Wow. Well, good. It was really good. I'm not a huge coconut person, but I like lime. And I had multiple people message me and said that this one was their favorite. I it thought, doesn't I, that's smell I good. I thought I heard something. I'm making a mess. Nope. I don't like that at all. Nope. It's way too, I'm not a coconut person. I already said that. Too much coconut for me. Nope. <laughs> not my favorite. All right, this one, this is gonna be rich, but Buckeyes are supposed to be rich. Oh yeah, baby. This one, you're gonna need some, this one, you're gonna need some milk. It's kind of falling oh, yeah. off. Yeah, this is gonna be super rich. So shiny. That's a little bit brownie. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a Buckeye. Oh my gosh, I can't, I could not even eat half of that cookie yeah. without having something to drink. <laughs> The peanut butter just sticks everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna burn calories eating this. I'm moving my mouth around so much. I was gonna say it like coats your whole mouth. Mm -hmm. Not in a, like a bad, bad way. No, but but guys also do that. All right, so not a surprise. Confetti, I think, is my favorite. Then cinnamon roll. <clears throat> then I think the that one. I'm going this. The vanilla confetti. Or... This yeah, one, two, three. Four, five. Well, five. Well, yeah. We just got a basic chocolate chip. I'm not chip. counting that. Mm hmm Yum. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know what we're doing the rest of the evening, but... Probably nothing. It's almost Kelly's bedtime. Actually, it's 9 yeah. o'clock. We want to go take, take a nap? Maybe. We'll see. Look at what Lulu did. Plop down right next to the stroller. I am loving the bassinet with this. It's so nice. What a good girl. Chris said one, two, three, four, five. Mine would be one, two, three, four, five. Nice. I'm gonna go try to not cry more. I'm gonna have popsicles. <laughs> Those help me not cry more. I haven't been crying. I'm the rock here, trying to be. Do you think you'll get emotional when you have to leave? I think so. I don't think I'm gonna cry, but I'll get emotional. Then again, I do lit or I work, I think it's 3.2 miles away <laughs> from our house. I left something at home, shoot. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm now kind of the boss. Not really, but. Um, Slight flex there. I do have a little more flexibility Yeah. in my day to day. So I can come home for yeah. an hour for lunch and be fine. Snuggle here. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Walking. Give me the baby. Yeah. Disney. <laughs> Feeling way less emotional today. Um, that just like hit me out of nowhere yesterday. I was literally, <laughs> I could not stop crying, but that's only the second time I've cried since having her, which I think is pretty impressive because I feel like usually postpartum, at least from what I've heard, everyone's just crying all the time. Uh, but we are going to Lowe's. We need to get a sprinkler because one of our sprinklers is not working. And we're taking the doggo, the baby. Sure are. Let's It'll go. Be an adventure. it's been a minute since I updated you last or just like got on here and showed my face. 
We have been loving and just like soaking up our newborn bubble. She is chilling in her little infant lounger right now. But yeah, we're just soaking it all up. I had launch, I had to ch choose the winners. Um, and I got two videos fully edited. The birth vlog is gonna go up tomorrow. I. I was really excited to work on that. I haven't been putting any pressure on myself to like do extra work, like aside from the stuff that I just have to get done because of like brand partnerships or just whatever, and to make a living to support our tiny little human, obviously, or else I would have recorded a bunch more trying to like stay on top of content. Um, but Instagram has been nice to just like give people quick updates and like share, share things as they happen. Um, but Chris goes back to work a week from yesterday. Makes me really sad, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but I know it will be good. We have so much help around us too if I do need help, but I've been soaking up the newborn bubble. Today was the first day where I was like, oh my gosh, I need a nap. Well, not the first day I needed a nap, but like where I was like, like on the verge of tears because I was just so tired. And for some reason, she's been a really good sleeper um, like this entire time. For whatever reason today she just seemed like she was uncomfortable so i was tired on top of her not sleeping very well and then i felt like i didn't know what to do and i'm like oh it just feels so bad but at the same time i really need some sleep um which i know i'm gonna have many of those moments with motherhood um but yeah we're loving it trying to soak up all of the tired moments the energized moments the happy moments the nervous, whatever. Um, I already had her in the car for the first time by myself because Chris, Chris's car died when he was out yesterday. I'm like, fantastic. So stressful. Um, but we did that, so I already checked that off my list. That was something that was also making me nervous for when he goes back to the office because prior to yesterday, I was just riding in the back seat with them everywhere. So I was sitting right next to her and now we just kind of like ripped that band-aid off so i feel like that will make me feel a lot better when he goes back because obviously i'm gonna have to run errands and like do things so now i feel more confident but she's about to feed doing more laundry my mom's coming over tonight to help clean she came over once last week and cleaned our floors vacuumed so thankful for that um between her chris's parents my sister-in-law um and brother They've helped with food. We had power plate meals as well. So it's been really nice, but I just wanted to pop on an update. Now that I am rejuvenated a little bit, I got like an hour and a half of sleep, which was really nice. Chris took her downstairs um, and watched a movie and I went upstairs and slept. It was a dream. Hey guys, thought I'd uh, step in for a second. Kelly's shown you a lot of good with this little girl, but man, She's been screaming bloody murder for the past 10 minutes. Kelly is getting her nails done. First time she's left Emerson alone in the two weeks that she's been alive. Or less, not left Emerson, left Emerson with me, I guess. And uh, of course, right when she leaves is uh, when this little one gets hungry. So I'm trying to heat up her milk um, what I've been told is no microwave, so I have it in a bottle sitting in warm water waiting to get to temperature. Once that does, we're going to try feeding her, and guess what? I have never feed and fed her with a bottle yet, so this is going to be an adventure, isn't it? Yeah, she is not happy. She is not happy. Not happy at all. Yeah? Yeah? No? <laughs> it's okay. Oh yeah. It's okay. Maybe not. Maybe it's not okay. I don't know. Is it not okay? Hey. No. Layla, go away. Guys, it's a whole new baby. We finished the whole freaking thing. There was just over three ounces in that bag. Heated it up. She ate the whole freaking thing. Burped a couple times. Whole new baby. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. Here, let me show you the little setup I'm. I had over here. It took me a while to figure out the best way, most efficient way to heat up the milk. Cause first I poured it into the thing and then put dumped the thing in my warm water and that just was not working. So I just poured it back into the bag and then just put the bag in there and then transferred it. Worked much better. 
Clearly everything behind me is a mess because I'm washing our sheets. That's where she sleeps. We change her there and I just have bins full of like clothes for her. But I just laid out for the first time, put on a bikini for the first time. And these are the ones that I have been wearing <laughs> since pre-pregnancy, so they still fit, which is great. I did have to put a little pad in just because still bleeding a little bit, TMI, but it is what it is. My boobs are huge, but I just figured I would document this. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in a video or just keep this for myself, but this is, what is today? Wednesday, week and a half postpartum. I do not have physique goals right now. I'm literally just documenting what's happening to my body. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything. I haven't worked out or even thought about working out since delivering for obvious reasons. One, I'm not cleared to work out. Two, I'm not recovered yet, hence I'm still bleeding. I still have stitches um, that are still pretty uncomfortable. So just documenting this. This is not like a bounce back thing. This is literally just our bodies are absolutely incredible. And I think it's cool to document and also just to see what postpartum looks like when I stayed as active as I did throughout pregnancy. I worked out the day before going into labor. Obviously, looking different than before, which I should. My body just did something amazing. I don't have as much like loose skin as I thought I was going to. I'm sure that's just like a genetics thing, but I did use the oil the whole time, the Hatch Belly Oil and um, Earthly Nighttime Lotion. I took collagen and yeah. So I'm like super impressed how fast this kind of came back together. I can still feel like a tiny ab separation uh, down here, but as for up here, it feels like it's fully back together. So we'll see, we'll keep documenting. But this is, yeah, like a week and a half postpartum. loving the way I look because this body gave me a baby who we're absolutely obsessed with. Obsessed with. I'm gonna go take a shower now because I am sweaty. <laughs> I've also been having the worst night sweats. So I'm just all around very gross. Hi, Emerson. Hi. I'm starting to wake up. Okay. some good. Some good uh, skin to skin. Skin to skin time with dad. Huh? Eyes or eyes open? No. She might be waking up, but that is the end of the video. I realized it was absolutely all over the place, and I'm not going to apologize for that because this was our like two weeks paternity leave, maternity leave. Um, just like random clips I recorded. So I'm not gonna lie. I had a full-blown breakdown this morning. Uh, if Chris was here, he probably would say it wasn't a full-blown breakdown, but for me, it felt like it. She, it's definitely true, like the first two weeks, at least for it was, it was with us. The first two weeks is like the honeymoon stage with a newborn. They sleep a ton and then right after the two week mark, it seems like her sleep has been all over the place. She's been a lot more fussy with stuff, which is like totally fine. But as a new mom, I just, we've had breastfeeding struggles randomly, which we didn't really have any to start. And then specifically the past like two or three days, it's like whenever she's up, she's just crying and uncomfortable, which then is one, hard because you're already exhausted. And my camera ran out of memory again. So right after I get done exporting this, I'm clearing all of the footage off this camera and starting from scratch because I keep running out of space. Anyway, yeah, then she's just been uncomfortable and it's just been hard because we're tired. I also feel bad because I don't know how to help her. And then it's like randomly she just stops. So I don't know if it is something specific. We're still learning. Um, but yeah, so this morning I just broke down crying because I was like, oh my gosh, and Chris is in meetings, so I'm trying to like make sure she's not totally interrupting that. So I'm like, just shut ourselves, shut her and I in our room and I like shut the curtains and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this what is this what my life is gonna look like? I just, I felt bad for myself for a second and felt bad for her because I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know what you need. Um, but we're better. 
She's better. We put together the Love Every Little Play Gym and she loved that, just laying there. And there's like spots to clip in those little high contrast cards. So she laid there for probably almost like 30 minutes, just like looking, hanging out, totally loved it. I think I, I'll show that some other time. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be key. She's also now eight pounds, so she can hang out in her little baby Bjorn. She was hanging out in that yesterday while I was working a little bit. Now I can put her in the little soft carrier, which I'm excited for, cause she loved it the first time I put her in there. She was just still a little under eight pounds. So now she can go in that, very excited. Even though most of the clips in here are all like the super happy, she's super chill times, there are other times, um, it's just not, it's it's not like my first instinct to grab my camera and start recording then. Chris did a great job. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how he handled all of that. I would have been so overwhelmed. It was on my old tripod that just like one of the legs gives out. So he actually bought me another tripod because he's like, that was awful. I'm like, yeah, I'm fully aware. I've been using it for like a year now. Enough rambling. Thank you for watching the video. She's about to be up, I think. Little Lou's being perfect back there after our walk and yeah i'm gonna finish up this video hopefully i can get this posted later today or tomorrow morning and then i still want to do the nursery tour and then i already started like the next vlog is just a back to a normal like day in the life vlog basically um but it'll be multiple days like they normally are because i know you like longer videos and i aside from a full day of eating i don't think i'd be able to get enough content for just a one day video right now because of everything we have going on Although I am back to work, she is obviously still my number one priority. She's still only two and a half weeks old. Yeah, two and a half weeks old. She's just looking around. But anyway, love you guys. See you in the next video.